Welcome back, True Seeker. It is May 30th, 2022, Memorial Day, and a former NFL player who played one season for the Minnesota Vikings in the year after George Floyd's death in Minnesota on Memorial Day has reportedly died in a car crash. And I want to show you what no doubt has really happened here in the same way Dwayne Haskins' cause of death is a lie, so is the cause of death for Jeff Gladney. And people really need to wake up and stop just going online and posting an RIP video regurgitating what they saw on TV. Because if you haven't figured it out yet, the TV lies to you every single day. And for all of you who think the Illuminati is a joke, pay attention because I'm going to show you what really happened is this man was killed by the Illuminati, which is the Catholic Church and the Jesuit order. And if you don't know history, <clears throat> the Jesuit Adam Weishaupt established the Illuminati May 1st, 1776, and I'll show you how his death is no different than the death of Jeff Gladney today because it's a very recurring pattern, and it's the same pattern that related to the death of George Floyd. So to see through these rituals, you need to know the language of gematria, which is very simple. It's A, B, C is one, two, three. It's the alphabetic order, forwards and backwards, and forwards and backwards with the numerology. That means each word has four numerical values. I'm going to show you how all four values of death connect to this man's death and how those numbers fit in with George Floyd killed on the corner of 38th Street and also where the Illuminati fingerprints stand out the most. So from his December 12th birthday to his death on May 30th is the 170th day of his age. And of course, sacrifice in Gematria equals 170. As for him being dead at age 25, when you run the alphabetic order in reverse, the word death equals 97, which is the 25th prime number. If you use numerology, death equals 25 instead of 97. And for all you NFL fans, I'm sure you remember what happened in the 97th NFL season. They moved the touchback to 25 yards, and that was the year of the 25-point comeback on 2-5, the Patriots over the Falcons. By the way, Bill Belichick equals 97 and Falcons equals 25. And I told you long before that game was played why the Patriots would win and why it would be all about 25, well before the 25-point scripted comeback in the entirely scripted NFL where the rituals carry off the field into the murder of athletes by the numbers. You can look up the song Murder by Numbers by the Police. Look up the song Gematria, the Killing Name by Slipknot. Of course, Gematria is the practice of coding numbers into words. Murder by Numbers is about how killings as simple as A, B, C, 1, 2, 3. Now, notice if you run the alphabetic order forwards, death equals 38 and 20. And this man played one season for Minnesota, which equals 38. And he wore the number 20 for Minnesota. So he played for a team with a death connection. He wore the number with the connection of death. And now he's dead at 25 on his 170th day of being 25 years old. Mind you, he's dead in Dallas, Texas, where JFK was assassinated one day after the anniversary of JFK's birthday as his home state, Massachusetts, clinches the NBA Finals on the 149th day of the year, keeping the heat on 149 all-time playoff wins, which is what I said would likely happen before the series was played, and we said why it would be Warriors versus Celtics in a clear tribute to Pope Francis. Again, that's the face of the Catholic Church and the first Jesuit Pope when it's the Jesuits who run the Illuminati and again, from the beginning, there'd be no Illuminati if it wasn't for the Jesuit Adam Weishaupt. But here's his stats right here. Jeff Gladney played one season in the NFL with Minnesota. One season, 2020, after the George Floyd killing. And notice, he was last a member of the Arizona Cardinals. He didn't see any field time with the Cardinals, but that's the last professional team that played him. Paid him, I should say. The... Cardinals will host the Super Bowl this year. Only fittingly, State Farm equals 103. It's the 103rd NFL season. But that Super Bowl will be in Arizona on February 12th, the last team that he was a member of. And notice from his death on May 30th to the upcoming Super Bowl, his 258 days. He's dead on the 150th day of the year, May 30th. Dead 258 days before the upcoming Super Bowl. Illuminati equals 150. Order of Illuminati equals 258. And that's its official name. So dead on the 150th day of the year, 258 days before the Super Bowl in the stadium that belongs to the team that he was the last professional member of. Now notice when you run the alphabetic order forwards, order of Illuminati is 201. 
instead of 258. And remember George Perry Floyd, who died on Memorial Day two years ago before his lone season with the Vikings. George Perry Floyd, his full name is 201. And so is Minnesota Vikings, the only team in the NFL that has a 201 connection through the full name. The only other team that has a 201 connection is Indianapolis. Indianapolis is the only city in America that equals 201. And to remind you of something on the Indianapolis front, again, we've t- covered a lot of 201 rituals in Indianapolis. With regards to the NFL, Ryan Kelly lost his child on Pope Francis's birthday. And that was 201 days after his own birthday because his birthday is also May 30th. You see how this works? Indianapolis, the Jesuit order, Ryan Patrick Kelly, 201. So there's only two teams in the NFL that have a connection to 201. One with the full name, Minnesota Vikings, and then Indianapolis through the city. Today's Ryan Patrick Kelly's birthday, and now a former or another member of the league that he plays for is dead in a very similar ritual. Okay? Coming back. Oh, shoot. You guys didn't see that because I had that on the wrong tab my bad here let me put it up here again i had it on the wrong tab my fault but ryan kelly number 78 born may 30th his child dead on pope francis december 17th birthday 201 days later and again indianapolis the 201 city don't forget the other year when gonzaga the jesuit school lost to baylor Right before Baylor won, Elgin Baylor died at 86, and then Baylor won the championship with 86 points, and they won that game 201 days after Elgin Baylor's birthday. They also won it 201 days before the coach of Baylor's upcoming birthday, who played at Butler in Indianapolis. And then they did the big 201 ritual this year with Georgia beating Alabama. Another correct call from understanding how rigged the games are. We said in week two why Georgia would beat Alabama, and it was all about the Pope. And... Again, you had the coach in attendance to watch who'd won 201 games with Georgia for his career, you know, in Indianapolis. But Ryan Patrick Kelly, also 201, who lost his son on the Pope's birthday. And again, Pope Francis is the first Jesuit Pope. Again, today this death, hitting all the wrong buttons here. Today this death comes 201 days before his upcoming birthday. Jorge Mario Bergoglio is his birth name, which equals 201. He's the first Jesuit Pope, the first to live in suite 201 at the Vatican, known as the Domus Sancte Marte, which is 201, and the founder of the Jesuits, Ignatius of Loyola, is 201. And again, Pope Francis, look it up, the first to live in suite 201 at the Vatican. The Jesuits saved by Catherine the Great, who preserved the order with 201 Jesuit priests. When George Floyd died, whose full name is 201, Remember, they compared it to Edema Traore in Paris, France, who was killed in a similar fashion that led to protests. Again, the Jesuits are from Paris, France, but Edema Traore was killed exactly 201 weeks before George Floyd, and he was killed on July 19th, 2016, the 201st day of the leap year. And then Lamar Ferguson, we heard that story out of Minneapolis after George Floyd died. Lamar Ferguson equals 201. Mind you, of Ferguson, Missouri, where Michael Brown equals 201 and so on and so forth. We talk about what they did in Buffalo with 201, what they just did in Uvalde, Texas with 201, what they just did in Taft, Oklahoma with 201, and all the other 201s that we continue to talk about. This is the number of the Jesuits who are the Illuminati who operate by this code day after day, killing all along the way. And again, I mean, you take away the numbers, just keep it simple. Minnesota football player who played his lone season after George Floyd died, on Memorial Day, and now he's dead on Memorial Day. Think about it. Think about it. Memorial Day relates to military. The Jesuits consider themselves a military order. That's why a military personnel file in the U.S. is called a 201 file. The Jesuits are a military order. That's why their leader is called the superior general. When you're watching the NFL, how many military advertisements are you watching? How many military flyovers at games? What are the purpose of these games, really? To suck up your energy, your time, to distract you from the evil that rules over you, that overtaxes you, that enslaves you in their schools and their prisons that are pretty much the same thing where you get fed the same food from the same trucks. Again, if you're in this community and you're making money off this knowledge and you're spending it on sports tickets, you're part of the problem. I'm sorry I gave the knowledge to you, swine. You shouldn't be investing any money in these leagues. 
These leagues are evil. People are ritualistically killed. Here we are right after the NBA finals are set by the numbers. And we have another athlete death. And aren't I teaching the same thing again and again? It's just like you learned about in slave school. These ancient civilizations who used to sacrifice human beings to the kings for the big festivals, the big sports games like the Mayans. Nothing's changed, you know? And the sheep right now are uploading their videos. Oh, my God. R.I.P. Jeff Gladney. This is so sad. It's so sad that he got in a car crash. Don't you dummies ever learn? You really think all these people are just dying in car crashes, walking across the freeway in the middle of the night? You guys are fucking morons. Pull your head out of your ass. These are Illuminati rituals. These leagues are a sick fucking joke. So, again, I can't tell you how many times we talked about the same patterns over and over and over, you know. By the way, he's dead 106 days before the NFL season kicks off. Black Lives Matter 106. I can't breathe 106. Black 106. Remember, they said George Floyd had coronavirus. He couldn't breathe. Get it? By the way, I'll show you one of the biggest Illuminati schmucks on the planet right now. You guys know him as Bill Gates, but his full name is William Henry Gates. And remember, co-host of Event 201. If you don't know what that is, it's because your head's so far up your ass, you don't have a clue what's going on in the world. Look up Event 201. And with regards to 258, his daddy died on the 258th day of 2020, the year of the pandemic that he simulated at event 201. And of course, he established his vaccine alliance on the 258th day of his age, July 12th in history. But yeah, this stuff's not a coincidence, you guys. This is the Illuminati. It's more real than you know. And um, this is the kind of stuff that frustrates me about the book I'm writing now. I'm, I'm trying to write a book with just one number, 201. And I mean, there's a lot of evidence in there, but then there's parts of me that's just like, God, I want to show how on the flip side, they got the 258 connection for things like this. So I just know as, as low functioning as people are, though, you get off that one number, they might get lost with the second number, the elementary, second grade math and Reading ability is a little bit too advanced for most Americans. So anyhow, if you are fortunate enough to be able to read, do me a favor, do a web search, type out Zachary K. Hubbard, subscribe star, and don't go there to donate money. It is my subscribe star page. I don't run it for money. Um, the reason I have this page is because I only have one post there and that's the way it's going to stay. But you can download both of my eBooks totally free. You'll get this page. It looks like this. You see the paper clips down there, letters and numbers, the green book. Number Games is the latest book. There's a huge chapter on George Floyd's killing and all the 201 rituals in it. There's a lot of 201s with George Floyd. Again, Roxy Washington's his baby mama, another 201. You know, again, Lamar Ferguson's story right after his death, 201 and 150. You know, Illuminati 150, Order of Illuminati 201. Michael Brown. Again, it's all related. So it's all related. Did I, did I go to the wrong? I went to the wrong thing again. Sorry, I'm only showing you one tab. But if you go to the subscribe star page, it looks like this. Letters and numbers, number games. Just click on the paper clips to uh, download the book. And um, yeah, it's a lot of reading, but it's information that people need to have. And again, the Catholic Church runs the world. It's not an accident that, you know, we're right again about the NBA finals. And it's simple stuff, you guys. Again, go look at December 17th, 2021. The Warriors beat the Celtics 111-107. And again, the Celtics are 17-4 and four in NBA Finals right now. If they lose, they'll be 17-5. and five. Pope Francis, 175. Golden State in the same cipher, 175. And again... That game was on the Pope's 85th birthday. Boston is 85 and 22. They're going to their 22nd NBA championship in 2022. Basketball is 85 and 22. And Curry, 
You know, the star of the Warriors has also got that 85. And again, Boston took 85 shots last night, advancing to the finals on JFK's birthday. What would have been? By the way, you know what's crazy? It would have been JFK's 105th birthday. And when the Celtics beat the Warriors in the finals in 1964, they won that deciding game with 105 points. And then on the 105th birthday of JFK, the finals is set with those two teams again. Here, I'll show you this real quick. 1964 NBA Finals, right here. Deciding Game Five, Celtics beat Golden State four to one. Golden State forty one. But notice 105.99. Look at JFK birthday. JFK birthday, May 29th, 1917. That means he would have been 105 yesterday. You know how we're talking about order of Illuminati? Let me type that back out again for you. Order of Illuminati. Do you see the big fat 105 up there? Mm hmm. But again, the, the season that JFK was assassinated, the 63-64 season, that was the year that the finals was Warriors and Celtics, you see? And um, here, I'll just show you a little bit more right here. Okay, so... But by, by the way, that was 58 years ago or a total of 59 seasons. Because if you count the 63-64 season, you know, through this year, that's 59 total seasons. John F. Kennedy's 59. So is Pope Francis in that same cipher. And um, again, on the Pope's birthday was, was this game. Warriors won with 111. Jorge Mario Bergoglio 111 like the NBA Finals. And notice the Heat, this is their record right now, 149 and 118. And again, I made that video public for you guys, but Celtics has that 118 in it. Think about how perfect it is. The Heat's playoff record is 149 and 118 right now. They just got their most recent loss versus the Celtics, 118, and they stayed at 149 wins on the 149th day of the year. And you guys don't understand how I'm showing you definitive proof of how the whole league is perfectly scripted with all these rituals planned out season after season. That could only happen if the entire Heat franchise history was planned accordingly for that to happen on that day, which is exactly what it was. I keep going to the wrong tab here. There. Celtics at the 118. You, know? you remember when Jason Tatum dropped 46 points on Friday the 13th? <laughs> he dropped 26 last night in game seven. But Celtics, you see? And, and like I've been saying, that's a big number in that town because Patriots is 118, Tom Brady's 118. You know, that's why I told people it should be, you know, Warrior Celtics. The numbers all spell it out. But Dallas just picked up their – Dallas just picked up their 122nd loss versus Golden State in the playoffs. Golden State 122. Now playing in San Francisco 122 on the 122nd Meridian, named after St. Francis of Assisi like Pope Francis. Pope Francis 122. Let's go back to San Francisco. You see also the 202. If today's 201 days before the Pope's birthday, the Celtics just lined up their matchup with the San Francisco Warriors 202 days before Pope Francis' birthday. You see? It's all scripted around the Pope. It's all scripted around the Catholic Church, the Jesuits. Don't forget the first March Madness was in 85. Catholic school over Jesuit school. Don't be the next knucklehead moron to leave a comment. No, -uh, the first March Madness was in 1939. No, it wasn't, moron. That was the first men's college basketball tournament. March Madness began in 85, okay? Get it through your stupid fucking head. Stop arguing without doing enough research. If you, if you heard it on this channel, you heard facts. Write it down, etch it in stone, okay? People, man, with their half-baked research thinking they found something. No, you didn't. Shut it down. All right, you guys, so now it's your turn to do the job. Spread the knowledge, share the work, and if you run into some moron that thinks it's all a coincidence, you know what? Write down on a piece of paper, I found another swine that doesn't need to be a part of my life, and then move on to the next one. Until you find a real man, a real person, a real woman who gets it. Because we need to get all the people who get it, which is a lot out there if it's explained properly, on the same page to stop this evil shit. These sports stadiums need to be empty. There needs to be no ratings for these rigged games. It needs to be over. You know?
And all of you guys who are just only focused on making more paper off the games, realize that's fiat currency. It doesn't really have any other value other than because we continue to believe on it. And the day that the news headline becomes that your money's not worth jack shit, that's the day we're all going to be fucked and that day's coming. Unless we stop the agenda and get on a better page where we're not enslaved and beholden to government and grocery stores and all the shit that's controlling our life. We need to get control over our own lives and stop letting ourselves be controlled by these tyrants, these murderers, these psychopaths. So. Yeah, there's even more to say, but you know what? I'm going to keep it right there for now. And um, again, thank you to everyone who tuned in. Thank you to everyone who shares the work. Again, the website's Gematria Effect News. If you're on a website, you can pledge through the Patreon, the PayPal that way. I am looking for way more donors for this work because we need big resources to get out the word in a big way. And um, again, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, P.O. Box, it's all right there at the top of my website, gematrieeffect.news, right above the picture of the slave muzzle that reminds you it has a cancer warning on the inside. And um, think about all the people just walking around with their slave muzzles on with their cancer warning on. Well, I'm just doing it because that's what the authorities told me to do. Okay. Keep doing what you're told to do. See how that's working out for you. No. Hey, here, I got to show you one more thing, actually. Look, look how they just mock your ass. 21 dead at the Uvalde shooting, and they got to put a little child out there with, with a 21 on his jersey in Atlanta. And it won't uh, – watch out, people in Atlanta. I can't tell you how many times they have somebody in a jersey for a city – where a shooting happens, and the next thing you know, there's a shooting in the city where the witness was wearing that team's jersey. You know what I mean? And then the boy's name's Daniel, while supposedly the shooter had a um, a gun manufactured by Daniel Arms. It's just like, come on, man. His mom looks like she's hungry and ready to eat him. But uh, anyway... These people are sick. So. Go figure. Go figure on the Gematria, too. Go figure. And, and by the way, for another 119, he is sporting the Falcons jersey. Falcons got that 119 as well. So, Do you remember the, the only Super Bowl that Pope Francis ever blessed was Super Bowl 51, where the Falcons gave up the 25-point lead? Um, see how Vatican is 7119, so is Francis, so is Falcons. Go back. The only Super Bowl that Pope Francis is blessed is the one where Brady had the 25-point comeback on 2-5. And with regards to the Pope, again, just notice, Falcons, Francis, Vatican, they're all the same. But with regards to the 25-point comeback, of course, Falcons is 25 in the same, most peer, so is Pope. And by the way, that was right after Trump became president, who was a big Patriots fan, and Trump's 25. All synced up. Oh, my God. I, I get so annoyed because I keep having it on the wrong tab. Go one more time. Falcons, Pope, Trump, 25-point comeback on 2-5 in the 97th season, the 25th prime, where they moved the touchback to 25 yards. And then notice with just these ciphers right here. Notice Vatican, Francis, Falcons. The exact same. And by the way, Super Bowl 51, that was on the Pope's 51st day of his age. And Rome is 51. And um, Houston Texans hosted that Super Bowl. Houston Texans 51 in the most pure cipher. And the more you know, the more you know, you can go through the whole sports history, see that it's all been like this all along. Nothing but scripted bullshit centered around the Jesuit Catholic Church centerpieces. All roads lead to Rome, the Roman circus the Roman roads, the Roman taxation, the Roman police, the Roman military. It's all alive and well here in the new Holy Roman Empire, Holy Roman Empire, America, where the House of Representatives has the Roman fasces on the wall and the architecture is all Roman. And, you know, they were doing gematria back in the Roman days. Back then, more people knew about it because it was, it was just a more known thing. People were more in touch with the Bible, you know, the scripture. The knowledge of that time. Most people don't know about it now. Now it's just used to mock us. But yeah, 
Again, you can keep uh, thinking this is all a coincidence and you'll continue to be a part of the problem. You'll continue to be a slave to the Illuminati, a slave to the Roman Catholic Church, a slave to the American fascist enterprise. That's who you'll be, thinking all of it's a coincidence. You'll be the next accomplice and the next young player that didn't need to get murdered. You know, all of you guys who buy tickets and merchandise and all that shit, you're paying for this. Just understand that. You you paid for this man's death. You contributed to the league that does this, okay? Make no mistake about it. You're responsible. Here, you know what? Before I get off, before I get off here, I can't put the number up on the screen doing it this way. Here, if there's anybody out there that thinks I'm wrong, you can't call in and be like the dipshit losers that call in like, oh, you're a fucking idiot and hang up. That's not what I'm talking about. If you think I'm wrong and this is all a coincidence and you can actually formulate sentences and make a logical argument and show that I'm wrong, I want you to call in right now and explain why I'm wrong and all this is a coincidence. If you can't do that, then don't call in. Hold on. Here's the number. Write it down. 509, that's the area code, 509-560-4982, 509-560-4982. Call in and tell me why I'm wrong and you're going to keep supporting the NFL, rig sports, ritualistic murders. Call in and tell me how it's all a coincidence. Hold on. I'm getting the number open real quick. If you're trying to call in, it's probably giving you a busy signal because I haven't opened it yet. All right. The line's open. 509-560-4982. We got our first caller, Orlando, Florida, home of the Pulse Night shooting by the numbers, where LeBron was criticized for wearing the Undertaker t-shirt the next day. What's up, 407? Yo, what's up, Zach? How you doing today? I'm doing all right. What's going on? All right. So I'm not um, against anything you're saying. Uh, I just started following you maybe a month ago. I, I can't remember when Spiritual So posted to look up Gematria, but that's the day I found you. And I've always been like, you know, I've always known the government was up to stuff. You know, shit wasn't doing, shit wasn't going right. And when I when I found your info, everything made sense, and it was just surprising to see. So all of this makes sense to me. Uh, I bought both your books. I bought the uh, 9/11 to coronavirus today. So. It'll come in tomorrow, so I'm going to read that, give it to my parents and everyone. But uh, I just wanted to ask you, have you um, tried to get in touch with, like, different podcast leaders to see if they could get you on? Like like who? So this one podcast that I recently started watching, they're kind of like the Kevin Samuels, but they're called Fresh and Fit Podcast. Uh, I've been messaging their people to see if they could get you on, but no, no, no response yet. So that, that's what I'm used trying. to. That's what I, I I have a hard time even reaching out to people anymore because I get so frustrated. I, I I reached out for people for years and was pretty much ignored by everyone. That's why I appreciate Spiritual So. He's the only one who has a platform that ever gave a shout out to the work. So he's a real one, and I think most of the people out here are not real ones, and they're controlled otherwise. Because I don't know how you couldn't want to share this information. I mean, it just lines up every day. I mean, it's like nobody believes in the phrase "knowledge is power." So, for sure, for sure. Yeah, uh, I just been spending my time lately, like trying to find out which podcast I could get you on. Uh, just trying to do my part. Uh, my name in the chat is A L M A O. I've done it a couple times, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm still trying to see if I could get you on some kind of podcast to put put this message out on like larger scale. See what we could do. Well, I appreciate that, and uh, I'm glad you're in the community. So, thank you. Keep it up. Thank you. Thank you. Take, right, care. take care. 843. Thank you, thank you. Hey, what's up, Zach? Hey, what's up? 843. Your video is on. You might want to mute it. Hey, what's up? Okay, it's, okay, I muted it. Uh, but yeah, man, love your work, bro. Uh, I'm not here to uh, dispute anything that you're doing because everything you're doing, I mean, I mean, two plus two is four. So, you know, if people can't freaking add today, you know, there's something's wrong. But, uh, but yeah, everything that you're you're doing right now, and everything that I'm studying, because I'm a, I'm a metaphysician, I study like real heavy spirituality and different things like the Kabbalah and everything like that. And everything that you're doing, man, it is, and everything that I study, I see a huge connection in everything, bro. Because what they're doing is they're creating, um, they have they can't use real magic. 
they have to use our minds and the numbers to create to, to, to create magic in the world or to help them to manifest in their world. You get what I'm saying? They can't they can't do what the mystics of the ancient times one did million percent. One million percent. That's why everything they do is meant to have an impact on us and essentially ha harvest our energy. It, it's just so transparent, yeah. too. Look at it. The two number one seeds in the NBA this year, how do they both lose? They both lose in home games, and the Suns got it the worst because they lost by 33 on the 33rd parallel, really sinking the hearts of the fans. For, for Boston, they got all the fans into it at the end because they thought the game was over. They were down nearly 20 points. Then they go 11-0 unanswered to make it a ball game with less than a minute left, only to lose again on a, on a way that was just like, why did we do that? Again, all of this stuff is about playing with our hearts and our minds from the news to the sports, and, and it is. It's all about manipulating the energy of the people. I always tell people to go back and watch the movie Monsters, Inc. that they put out right after 9-11 where that's what the theme of the movie is. There's monsters out there that are harvesting the energy of the people, and when they have that whole monster you know, cast walk out in the line, they're sure to have a clock right behind them, and the hands are right on 9-11, and 11, and that movie came out right after September 11th. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Damn, I didn't even know that shit. I've been watching them. Bro, what? Yep. Go back and watch it. Monsters. Damn, children's movies. You see, yeah, man. Especially that, man. They they really do need uh the minds of they they, they really need our minds, man. And and we really have to cause I, I saw the video you did uh that was titled, Are we gonna stop the the elite or not? And that's true, man. Like when are fucking like like when are we gonna stop, you know? Making videos and and because what you do when you go, you actually go out to places, bro. Like that shit is inspiring. You know, when we gonna start making videos and speculations and shit, we just we need to. I, I heard in one video, man, you said these people need a bullet in their fucking head. And they do, bro. Like they really fucking do, bro. Because this shit is getting out of hand. Because now they doing like the whole school shooting shit, and you know, is 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 uh, which is obviously a distraction. You know what I mean? Um and and. and you get brain dead people when I say that. When people like me and you say that, we get brain dead people that say, "Oh, well, what about this and that?" No, nah, man, you can't. You, like five school shootings in less than a year, bro. Come on, man. I mean, <laughs> it, it's, it's something's up. So, but yeah, I don't, don't want to take it up, take up the line for you know or nothing like that, man. I just want to just get in here and just you know give you give big big shout out, appreciation with everything you do, man. Well, thank you. I appreciate the support. I'm glad we got you out there. Thank you. Oh yeah, for sure. All right, take care. All right. Well, you know, I can't be mad at the supporters, but again, for all the people out there, which is the majority of humanity who continue to go to these games. And I guess that's the problem. The people who continue to go to the games, believe the lies. They're not looking for truth. That's why we have to get out there for years. I've been saying you guys use the website. I pay a thousand dollars a month for to host for everybody free to find truth, organize network, get out in your city in front of your sports stadium and wake up those fans. If 20 of you could gather with signs and information and tell these people, they might say, you know what? I'm not going to this game anymore. Thank you for telling me that. It's going to take a bunch of us doing it. 531, what's up, 531? I'm good, Zach. How you doing, bro? I'm doing all right. What's up? You see, I just want to let you know you was the truth, bro. <laughs> everything you're saying, everything you're saying is the truth, bro. I just want to express some love, bro. That's all I saw. Love. All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Have a good one. You too. All right. You guys, this is what we got to do, though. We got to organize in all of our cities, and we got to get out in front of these stadiums on game day, college stadiums. They're doing the same stuff at the college level, pro level. Get out there and educate. You know, it's nice to be out in person. For all of you guys who feel depressed and isolated because you've become about the truth and your friends and family have abandoned you for that, and I know that story happens all the time. Almost all of us have the same story. Find the people in your community who are like you because they're out there and get together and go out and wake up more people until your friends and family realize that you're not tripping and you're right. I don't know what to do. I, I mean, if there's more money coming in, maybe I could build a flashier website that, that made more people want to get on there and do it. I don't know what it's going to take. If we're not going to stand up and do something, you guys, we're all going to be way more fucked than we already are, you know? And there's going to be a lot more Jeff Gladneys in the world, you know? We're all going to be Jeff Gladney, essentially. Okay. All right. I see Jeremy White's. Shout out to Jeremy White. Jeremy White came out to LSU. 
Jeremy White was out in Dallas. Jeremy White puts out content. Jeremy White pounds pavement. We need more Jeremy Whites in the world. I did miss you in Oklahoma, but hey, at least we got you in Dallas. I know you're a busy man right now. But I, Jeremy says we'll go to TCU next time. We will. We will. I'm going to try to make a deal with uh, Sweet Lady. I, I think what I need is I need three days a month to pound pavement. Three days each month to get out to another spot and do something on the ground. Because every month there's some big ritual that they do that needs to be exposed. And in some months there's way more than one ritual. But I, I'm trying to I'm trying to get Sweet Lady open to the idea of doing a lot more things on the ground. She worries about me. You know, women worry. But um, I, the only thing I'm worried about is if we don't wake up people and change what's going on. I wish I could make a hologram of me that appear at every football stadium every day of the season, Saturday and Sunday. Need about 100 more voice boxes because this one's about shot after Buffalo. But Well, again, for you guys in the chat saying go on tour, I need you guys to support the work bigger. The, the, the support went way, way down after I went out to Oklahoma City. My funds are way down. I need you guys to step up and support the Patreon. Make donations. Cost money to do things. What's up, Jeremy White? Hey, Zach. How you doing, man? a couple of ob observations about the Jeff Gladney thing. Um, I know he was, he was round one, pick 31. So I was wondering if he has, like, the championship encoding, like, Maybe the stuff connected to him. It's that would make sense why they would sink his him. death up with the Super Bowl, right? Because Super Bowl equals 131, championship 131, and his death's clearly synced with the, with the championship. Yeah. I know a couple of years ago, Sonny Michelle was that player. Like, he was round one, pick 31, and he was all coded up to mm -hmm. the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did, did you see and, how in uh, Buffalo, the only team with representation at the Memorial was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I saw your. He does have Jeff Gladney did have a two hundred two in his name, like Skull and Bones, and there's a few other stuff that connects to two hundred two, right? San well, Francisco. today today is technically a span of two hundred and two days from Pope Francis' birthday. It's two hundred and one days before a span of two hundred two, and of course San Francisco's two hundred two, and this is right before the championship. So I think. Uh... What is it? Skull and Bones is 202. Yes. And I think Green Bay, Wisconsin is 202. You know what else is another 202? Because the, the last NFL death that got the big headlines was Dwayne Haskins, who played in D.C., the 202 area codes. There could be a link there. Yeah. Also trying to remember if there's any other, like, TCU players in. Well, remember what they just did with the March Madness tournament. You had that golf team from New Mexico, the Christian school, crash in Texas. And then we saw that was synced up with the TCU game in the first round. So there might oh, be yeah, something there. from the chat said um, TCU almost beat Arizona. Remember that game? Oh, right, right, right. That's a good point because his last team was Arizona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he also has a lot of square numbers with him. So like he's 25 years old, which is five squared. He was born on 12-12. He died on the 169th day Square root 13. after his birthday, which was uh, 13 squared. And to his next birthday is 196 days, which is 14 squared. Hmm. And you know what? NFL has that Gematria 13 and 14, doesn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, NFL equals 13 and 14. Maybe something to do with the square and compass or squaring the circle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the word dead itself is 14, of course. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and now you come to uh, DFW, we can go over to the TCU campus. How far is TCU from Dallas? From Dallas, it's like 45 minutes. Real close, okay. But important. But yeah, in Fort Worth, it's it's like TCU is kind of like middle of the in the middle of it. Okay, I I like that idea. I I I think uh, I think I think doing Dallas on the JFK anniversary might be a good idea. I like I liked in Dallas. There's a lot of engagement down there, so yeah, that'll be football season too. Like the Alamo, yeah, football the season. Alamo story. 
or mm-hmm. Alamo Bowl story. <laughs> you mean the one with the Oregon standoff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's still one of my favorite rituals of all time. For people who don't know what he's talking about, the, the day that Oregon lost to TCU in the Alamo Bowl with the record comeback with 41 points, then – Again, San Antonio equals 41, standoff equals 41, ranchers equals 41, Ammon Bundy 41. As soon as Oregon lost that record comeback, the news broke that there was a standoff in Oregon at a federal building. And I predicted that day. I said, watch, this will last either 13 days or 41 days because of the ritual. And sure enough, it lasted 41 days, the standoff. Again, sports and news all scripted together. And... um that was a long time ago now. That was what? Was that January 2016? That was over six years ago now. So, Yeah. <laughs> the, the, current, the current students might not even know what that is. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They probably wouldn't. So. I wonder, TCU is a private school, so I don't, I don't know if they have like a free speech, if they allow free speech mm. on their campus or whatever. Yeah. Might just have but, to uh, have you back me up with the bail money. So. Yeah, there's a lot of places like nearby campus though that a park be on their property. It, that's what yeah. I had to do. That's what I had to do down in Louisiana because they weren't they weren't letting me on the Jesuit school or Tulane, so I posted up at the park across, and that worked out all right. So. Yeah. Although they they seem more they seem more friendly than most places, like letting people, you know, if you have it organized and have like a presentation or something we can dress up as uh <laughs> horned frogs so yeah. we need to like get it like in their local newspaper like published author is coming to give a lecture you know i wish we could i like yeah. yeah yeah well we might have to look into the mascot uniform that could work hop around on campus yeah. <laughs> another idea i had is to like whenever you're out somewhere is to to get you into like a suit and tie with a with a big microphone like you're an like you're an actual news person indeed and have someone with like a big over the shoulder camera indeed that way like the media the media and police might be more willing to talk to you and you're like hey i'm with news channel 11 <laughs> what are y'all talking about <laughs> well, that that actually might work so that's not a bad idea either um hey jeremy before you go for you guys who don't know jeremy white not only is he a brilliant charming guy he's also built like literally like he's made out of stone but um what, what what's your go-to food uh probably just like chicken and rice chicken and rice okay keeping it simple what, what kind of rice staples chicken and rice uh, just regular brown rice. Brown rice? Okay, there you go. More fiber. Yeah. I try to just eat, like, I like mixed vegetables where it's, like, corn, carrots, and uh, peas. Okay. Just buying a big bag, big bag of that. And and how much time does Jeremy White spend in the, the weight room each week? Uh, probably, like, four hours. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There's a... There's a good book that I that I like started following like probably like ten years ago, and it's called The Four Hour Body. Okay. And it's uh, written by this guy named Tim Ferriss. Tim Ferriss is the author, and like, well, the premise of Four Hour is like that that you really only need four hours a week, and you just try to like do the maximum efficient thing to get the most results. So he has he has just different different uh, fitness philosophies and stuff in there. So I just try to I just try to mix it up between going out running and walking and going to the track and push ups and pull ups and you know, just doing a uh, body weight body weight stuff. Very good. But, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna check out this book because I, I need to get back in shape. Every time I see you, I'm like, damn, I gotta get back in shape like Jeremy. So <laughs> But I'm I'm fairly I don't know, I consider myself fairly average for like what your genetic potential is, you know. 
I'm only 5'11", 170. It's probably like an average, you know, just average height and weight. Well, compared to America, average is now looking like a marshmallow. So I, I think you're doing quite well. <laughs> yeah. I love yeah. that. Uh, the slump buster? Lady with the Buffalo Saber. The slump buster. The Buffalo Saber lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I was so mad my live stream didn't work when I lost her interview. Oh, my God. Yeah. yeah. Well, I also try to do uh, intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, like skip breakfast and then eat something small for lunch and, like, like I don't know, try to eat less times, eat less times. I'm, impre I'm impressed that you only put four hours in in the gym. I thought you were going to say more. When, when I was younger and I worked out all the time, the most I ever weighed was 175, and I looked a lot like you. You're about an inch taller than me. I'm 5'10". But I had to work out way more than four hours a week, so I'm going to read this book, The 4-Hour Body. Amazing. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It probably is. Yeah, it probably is about four hours because, you know, if you go one day – and you do and you go you know maximum effort for like 90 minutes or something the next day you're pretty sore and it's like hard to go there the next day you know sure so i try to like do, do one hard day and then like one easy day and then you're like all right i did two good days I'll, i'm taking off this day the next day sure okay i'm gonna read the book so I guess that's one way to do it just makes it have uh, heavy days and then the next day just do like cardio cardio or whatever sure well i appreciate yeah, the heads up on that so i i'm, I'm about to that, purchase a copy that guy tim ferris he has a lot of uh he has several other books that are good too he he like he has a podcast he's he's probably like up there not quite to joe rogan levels but he interviews top performers throughout all categories of achievement. Like, you know, some of them are athletes that did like Iron Man's, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And then some are like professors or business people. And he, he like tries to figure out what their keys to their success were. He's like, okay, you know, this guy does this and, and that's why he's successful. And so he has like another book called like Tools of Titans and uh, uh forget what the other one I forget what the other one was but yeah and they're like just little chunks of interviews yeah we're gonna get we're gonna get you on the the Tim Ferriss show that'd be, okay that'd be cool if we could I'm gonna, I'm gonna check him out because I I was not familiar with his name at all before you just brought it up so I'm I'm looking into all of it yeah I wonder how I wonder like how we could present it to him. We could be like, this is the, <laughs> this is the number one, um, the guy who cracked Vegas's code, you know, <laughs> present right. it as present it all these, all these great achievements, you know? So he'd be like, Oh man, how does, how does this guy, he, he beat the bookies in Vegas, you know, frame it in some way where he would, uh, uh, well, that is what we need to do, man. We need to figure out somebody who has an audience to help get the word out there. So maybe Tim Ferriss is the ticket. He's got the ticket to the four-hour body, and maybe he's the ticket to getting the word out. So I'm, I'm going to look into all of it. Perfect. Yeah. All right, Jeremy. Well, I appreciate it as always, and I look forward to the next time we meet up. And I like your idea on TCU. That's a must. So thank you. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, man. Have a good one. See it. How perfect. The 13 minute phone call for the man from Dallas. Um, thank you, Bamboo Soldier. I see the one dollar cash app. So appreciate it. Um yeah, we got a little bit off topic, but hey, why not? Why not share some good information about how to take care of yourself? Jeremy White, if you do meet him in person, I mean the guy's in great shape. 443. Hello. Hello. Yes, I have a question. I'm yes. watching your stream now. Yes. So, okay, I was watching it earlier, like when you first started, and you said like people are making videos so sad saying RIP Jeff and everything. 
but like, did he really die in a car crash? Like, what happened? If you're saying, I know it's scripted and all that, but I just don't understand that part. The point, I, everyone just gets on and just regurgitates the story that they saw on TV and right. how sad he died in a car crash. Oh my God, it's like Dwayne Haskins getting ran over in the freeway. And it's like, look at these people. They're just regurgitating what they saw on TV and not asking themselves, why do so many athletes die in car crashes and all this suspicious stuff? And it's so ritualistic. It's And it's always around the time of sports championships. And, and you know, Dwayne Haskins hit, hit by the dump truck as Scotty Scheffler wins the Masters after he wins the Waste Management Invitational. It's obvious that all of this stuff wow. is a ritual. And people need to wake right. up and stop just okay. regurgitating and believing what they see on TV. All it does is lie to you every single day. And um, uh, again, that, that that's what I'm saying about it. It's, it's okay to mourn and, and feel sad. It is sad. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying, just regurgitating the lies. If everybody continues to regurgitate the lies, these players are going to continue to be murdered and no one's going to think twice about it. I'm trying to show you that that's not what's happening. This guy didn't just die in a car crash. This guy was murdered. This is an Illuminati hit. This is a real thing that happens all the time that people need to wake up to. Wow, okay. So you answer my question. All right, and um, like my name is Andre. I'm from Baltimore. You know, I I'm not really on your level, but I do try to pay attention to things. And I don't know. It's just crazy, like how you were explaining with with the Heat, uh, how they lost it. What you said, 149th game or something like that. They like, stayed on 149 playoff wins did... yesterday on the 149th day of the year, and they got their 118th playoff loss when Celtics equals 118. Okay, so how do you how do you think all of this is organized? Like, is there some like people that are just saying here? Like, let me answer like, your question. I got you. I got your question. To lose the game on purpose. Like, all right, okay, you're, I'm sorry. Here, there's TV shows that go on for like 20 seasons, right? Like Law and Order, season 28 or whatever it's on, right? Right, right. No different. They're writing the script. It's an ongoing season. It's going to continue into the next season. They got the whole script written. But they, they, when they mapped it out with the Heat's franchise, they probably had the whole script written for the entire history of the Heat's franchise. They knew that by May 29, 2022, that would be the day. You know, they'd be parked on 149, picking up that 100. They got this stuff all mapped out. People can't understand how they script all this because they're not really thinking about it. Think about how many TV shows and movies are written. I mean, there's in our lifetime, we could never watch all the TV shows and movies that have been made because there's so many different writers creating all this content. It's the exact same thing for the yep. sports leagues. They're writing out the script. That's why the announcers always saying they couldn't have scripted it any better. They say it all any the time. Better, yeah. yeah, that's insane, man. Well, I just had a couple questions. You know, I'm going to keep watching, but I appreciate you for helping me out. Of course. You sound like a young person, by the way. So you're going to be way ahead of me by the time you're my yeah. age. Yeah. Yeah, I'm 21. I turned 22 uh, June 10th. And I, I was trying to look up my name in the in the calculator like to see what it means, you know. I wouldn't get caught up in all that. It, I, I use the knowledge to expose how these evil people are playing us for fools. I mean, there is something right, to our right, own right, numbers. Right. It's kind of interesting, but I, I wouldn't get lost in all that. Sometimes people look up their name and they're like, oh, my God, my name equals 83 like murder. It's like, don't worry about that. Right. As long as you're not signing on the line with okay. these Illuminati companies, you don't have anything to worry about. Exactly. So, exactly. so with the athletes, like the last guy you called in um, that was you were speaking to, you said he uh, Jeff, he said Jeff Gladney was round one, pick 31. And I mean, it's just insane. I know you just told me it's all scripted and written, but that just every single detail like that, it's, I, it's crazy. That these people are very yeah, detail oriented. The people who control this world are, are evil geniuses and, and the details are everything to them. So. All right. Well, thank you again. All Good right. All right. Yeah. Take care. You're welcome. Okay. Shout out to uh, Louis Cedeno with the $5 cash app. I appreciate it. 847. What's going on? 847. Hey, Zach, how you doing, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, just want to chime in real quick. Um, these people that are calling in asking how this can be rigged, it's, it's ridiculous. You touched on this point previously. Um, on these refs, when you look up their base salary, a rookie ref coming into the NBA, they make $250,000 just starting out. When you are when you get in as a, a professional ref, when you're in the, you know, 
for multiple years. They're making close to half a million dollars. And on top of it, there's only 75 reps in the NBA. That's only 75 people that you need on your side to rig these games. Indeed. And again, the people that climb to be on that stage, they're also in the network for the most part, you know? I mean, again, I used right. to I used to officiate sports. To get high school varsity games, you have to do a really good job. And if you start messing up, you're not going to do varsity games anymore. Look at these pro refs, how inconsistent they are. I mean, it's like a disgrace to the 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 profession of officiating when you watch these professional officials. The other year when uh, the Saints got screwed in the Rams game, the year of Super Bowl 53, and then it came out the ref who screwed them was a former Ram. I mean, people aren't catching on to the mockery. I mean, oh, it's yeah. just... Come on. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Um, and then real quick to the to your other point, um, you know, this is a, a reality rig. I've, I've been doing a couple of videos, but, um, you know, the, the score of game seven was 100 um, to 96. Jason Christopher Tatum equals 100 in, in the most pure cipher. Jimmy Butler. The wait, wait, you cut out. Six. Did you say Jason Tatum's full name equals 196? No, no, no. Jason Christopher Tatum equals 100. Oh, like how they won with 100. You know what? But just to pause, then, you, but you're making the point about 196 points scored in the game. This man who's dead today is dead 196 days before his birthday. Well, there you go. And then Jimmy Butler, when you write out Jimmy but Butler the third, in the same cipher equals 96. So the two star players for each game both equal the, the, the box score of game seven. And like you said, on the 149th day, and also Jimmy Butler equals 149. Just like they stayed on 149 losses on the 149th day of the year. And he's probably Jordan's kid. So, so. yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, yeah, I've got a couple of videos out there. I started my channel a couple years back. I'm just getting into getting back into it. But yeah, my channel is Reality Rigged. So check that out. All right. Appreciate it, man. Keep up the good work. Yeah, have a good All one, right. Yeah, take care. All right, you guys. Um, I've actually been live streaming too much today, and I, I actually wasn't even planning on doing another live stream after the one I did this morning. But it, it's just, you know, this stuff never ends. It just never ends. Every day, there's just another perfect example to expose the evil that's going on in the world and why this knowledge is so beneficial. Uh, for the person who did the super chat, the number to call in is 509-560-4982. After I get a super chat with that question, I can't just hang up the phone, but hold on. 347, what's up, 347? Hey, what's good, Zach? What's going on? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Uh, I like what you did in Buffalo. I was, I was watching the live screens and everything. I was hoping you were going to show up. <laughs> I wish I could, but I gotta take any of these bills here. Okay, I get it. I get it. But it's one thing about Buffalo. You got the security guard. They, they, they try to suppress this story. They, they don't. They don't want this story out there about him with the water engineer thing about about the cars running on water. Is nobody talking about no talking about that story? Gas prices almost five dollars during Memorial Day weekend, and this guy had an adventure, and nobody want to talk about that story. You notice that, right? Uh, exactly. I, I brought that up to the Fox News crew, and why don't they talk more about that in light of gas prices and being up? And they're like, mm -hmm. I mean, they're looking for the Second Amendment story. For people who don't know, look up the victim Aaron Salter in Buffalo, and look up his YouTube channel. He shows you definitively that he figured out a way to make a car engine run on water. And he just happened to die? Aaron Salter, look it up. It's and, facts. And think about what, what happened to all his patent and his pension. Who, 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 you know, who, who, who's going to get that? If the family get it, somebody will come in there and squint them out of the pattern and stuff. They don't want that information out there. If, if, it's, if it's possible, right, Zach? Uh, it's, uh, obviously, I mean, nobody's talking about it. and And that's why I get annoyed with all people like, oh, if that's true, how come the media's not? It's like, dude, your media is not here to inform you of anything. It's here to keep you in the dark so you can continue to be exploited by the same people that own all these news networks. And what's so crazy about it, it was a guy, I forgot the guy's name. I'm just talking off the top of the head right now. It was a guy in 1999. He had the same idea this guy had, and they said they, they poisoned the guy. This, this was in 1999. 
It was happening even before that because I, I had this uh, I had the same teacher for fourth and fifth grade, and he told us that you know they were killing people that were coming up with uh, other designs for cars. I, I, I had a, I had a fourth and fifth grade teacher who was conspiratorial minded, Mister Moody, and and he said that you know all this kind of stuff was going on. GM he still he told us back then General Motors had had, had secured all the knowledge of the water powered car and destroyed it all. So. I'm sure it's been going on for a long time. Either they, either they, either they stole the patent from the offensive or they just destroyed the, the, the information. So we don't get the information, but they can charge these high gas prices and energy. So it kind of reminds me of the Tesla thing. You remember when Tesla died and they went in there and took all his shit after he died? Tesla? Uh-huh. Uh, ain't, ain't that the story? When he died, he took all his Well, and, and he's up in that area in New York, too. They got a Tesla statue out there. So, yeah, it's just funny how that comes together like that. Yeah, so I, I just wanted to make that point that nobody, no, no, none of the media, nobody, not, not nobody online really talk about the water, the water part of the thing. I think that should be interesting right now, especially with, with these gas prices right now. Will people we'll want, want to know about the water, water running cause of water? Yeah, I, I know. It's like, what are the odds, man? That's what we're always saying. What are the odds? Yeah, so so I, I just wanted to make that point with, with you. That's it. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. By the way, for people who are wondering how I'm getting super chats, this is streaming on three YouTube channels right now. One of them is monetized. They don't allow me to monetize Gematria Effect Sports because uh, they, for obvious reasons, I was able to get Gematria Effect News 24 monetized, but Crack Their Code gave $10 super chat and said Jeff Gladney's dead 25 months after the NFL draft that he was drafted in at age 25. And as we know, death's 25. What's up, 289? What's going on, Zach? So uh, I don't know if you've seen this video before, but there's this YouTube channel. Uh, it's spelled out L0B0. I'm pretty sure that guy, uh, he's seen your work before because he talked about sports and gematria. But he posted a video seven months ago that everybody should see. It's uh, titled How They Use Magnets in the NFL. And uh, the beginning of it, it's a commercial for a product. It's called The Ultimate Glove. And it explains... It, within the first three minutes, how you uh, wrapping like copper wires around the bladder of the ball and like putting a transponder on it with a small battery can create a magnetic pulse. And if you put like the same similar wires in. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There, there's a consumer. I showed this. I showed this a long time ago. There's a consumer product out there with a football and gloves that are magnetic that you can buy. Yeah. I mean, look it up. It's out there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and th this is what I'm talking about. That's the that's the commercial for it. It's called the Ultimate Glove or something. Yeah. Um. But yeah, but the funny thing is, uh, the the football that they use in the commercial it's a Wilson football, and Wilson's the company that they use uh, for NFL games. So I mean, if you think about going to an NFL game or watching a game, a lot of the times when you see missed field goals and the ball gets kicked to the side or they throw the ball into the stands, people aren't allowed to take the balls home, right? Right. And in this video, it shows you uh, just how they can like uh, wrap the ball or like wrap these wires around the bladder of the ball. And they're so light that, uh, you know, they can just adjust the PSI so that it meets uh, the requirement for uh, the weight of like, you know, a regulation ball. Right. They say they can't use any of these things in a, like high school or college because like, it gives people an unfair advantage, but I'm sure in like super big games, you know, when you think about catches like uh, David Tyree's helmet catch or I've been telling you guys you know, for years, David Tyree helmet catch, catch was a magnet. Figures. It was, it was a magnet. It was so obvious. It's, it's, it was a perfectly safe yeah, ritual. Exactly. So, and if, if you guys but haven't seen Lamar watch, Jackson, Lamar Jackson has a video on YouTube recapping how a field goal missed that doesn't make any sense. Cause he's like, look, there's no wind on the flags. The ball's going right down the middle, and then at the very end, it just veers off super sharp, and we lose the game. He's like, "How did that happen?" They're trying to tell you, man. He, he knows. He knows something's oh, yeah. up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, no, that's it, and that's all I got to say. All right, yeah, I pr appreciate you bringing that tip up. It's a hundred percent true. Thank you. No worries. Take care. Yeah. Again, I've been telling you guys for years. They're using technology to ensure outcomes. So. Um, for, for my guy with the super chat, Jamison Jones. Hey, don't call in unless you're Jamison Jones who dropped the $2 super chat. 
509-560-4982. Jameson Jones. Hold on. Jonathan's got the text. Oh, Jonathan's got a nice book cover. Jonathan's book must be close. I, I like that. That's a great cover. Boom. Boom. There. I'm going to put it on my Twitter. Jonathan's book is coming soon. Did you do that yourself or did somebody do it for you? Nice. Jonathan, it looks like he's going to beat his finish his book before I do. Keep rewriting mine. 510? Hey, what's up, Zach? This is Bamboo. Hey. I was to say what's up. Yeah, what's up? I appreciate your work. Keep it up. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to say. Thanks for your work in OKC. Everybody that made it out there and Buffalo as well. I think you uh, opened up a lot of eyes. Also, wanted to say uh, the sync with the Pope. I think you can take it even further. Golden Gate Bridge is 85. Turning 80, I turned 85 a couple of days ago. So I think that's pretty interesting. Well, let, let's, remind, let's remind people, the day that Steph Curry hit the three-point record, I said that day, watch, there's going to be collapsing bridges soon in connection to Joe Biden's infrastructure bill. And then exactly 45 days later, the bridge fell by the numbers on 128 in Pennsylvania, where the Warriors are originally from. Bridge collapse equals 128 like Fern Hollow. Yeah. Again, news and sports all synced up and we're ahead of the curve. And, and that and that ritual, when yeah. he passed it, it was 201 days from the Golden Gate Bridge's upcoming birthday. So now the finals are set while, while all this is going on. The, the birthday for Golden Gate's May 27th, if I remember right. So that should have been on Friday. Yeah. May 27th, it was just a couple of days ago. Yeah. So I think that's pretty important take right there. Um, another thing I wanted to say, you guys were talking about madness in the ball. Just a couple of days ago during the Warriors, um, when they were playing the Mavericks, it was down, I think it was game four, I don't know, but Draymond Green had a free throw and it just landed right on the rim. You could pull up that video. It's not even that long. But um, the Warriors had 56 points at the time, and I think... It was 81 with the Mavericks. I forgot, but those, you know, those are big numbers. But if you watch that video, maybe you can even just pull it up. The ball bounces kind of weird. You can kind of see how it just, that last bounce, just kind of hugs onto that flat beat of the rim. So, I don't know. It's pretty interesting that that happened. Um, Draymond Green, uh, what should I type in? Was it a free throw? Yeah, just put in free throw. It should come up. Free throw that just lands on the rim. You get know, stuck pretty, on top of rim in game four, the day they lost with the shooting. Yeah, I think that's it, yeah. And I was just watching that, and it's, I don't know, it's pretty suspicious the way that ball moved and just stuck right on there. So, you know how it is. Indeed, Anyways, indeed. I uh, wanted to say thanks for your work. Everybody in the chat and the family that's promoting the work and bringing that energy and vibe that we need. Big up to that. Thanks for what you do. Talk to you guys later. All right. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. Um, so here's the shot right here. Here we go. Here we go. The day that the game was all synced up with the shooting. So Warriors are on the infamous 56 points. Here we go. 137 well, points in, in the game. 33rd prime. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> man, what a night this is. Oh, this is... I mean, if it. you shoot a, wow. if you know basketball, man, if you shoot an ugly shoot shot, that. sometimes the I mean, ball gets jammed between the rim and the backboard if you're just shooting happen. the More ugliest bricks there ever was. That. But this kind of stuff, I mean, come on, man. Oh, my goodness. I never seen that, and what I played a lot kind of basketball. What kind of night are we having? Where's Yeah Right, The Matrix? Rain he was delays. talking shit. He said he's going to beat me one-on-one. -on -one. I'll let you know, Yeah Right, The Matrix. I beat plenty of people as tall as you on one-on-one. But you know what? Um I better I better practice a little bit because I I've not shot a basketball for ten years. Before I got in, before you got before I was Mr. Gematria guy. If you guys don't know, I got injured and it put me on a different path. I started reading again. I found this, but I used to play a lot of sports. That's what I used to do. I used to be in the gym and play sports, and I used to play a lot of basketball. But it, it's been a minute, so I did see. Yeah, right. The Matrix was talking some shit. He's like, if I get on the basketball court, I'm gonna beat you, Zach. He might. I mean, he he's a big strong guy, but. I don't know. September 11th, I might have to shoot some, shoot a few shots before I go out there. We might have to have that court match. That might be the thing people are actually interested in. So, um, let's see.
Again, here, here's Jonathan's book, you guys. 38 special. And again, the 38 death rituals, they come a lot. It, it's it's partly what's connected to the football player to dead, who's dead today in Minnesota on the anniversary of George Floyd found on the corner of 38th Street. Hey, Jonathan, if, if whoever did this cover artwork, honestly, the two things that are missing here, I mean, you could put even more on here, but I feel like you got to have Tupac and Notorious B.I.G. on there as well. You know, they fit in with that same old pattern. See, it's got all the current deaths, DMX, Pop Smoke, King Vaughn. Um, what's the Memphis rapper who just died? Kobe. There's a lot of them. So, Anyhow. Yeah, let's leave it there for now, you guys. Thank you to uh, the Super Chatters. Um, Jameson, if I didn't get you on this one, write down that number because it's always the same number to call in. And... Yeah, thank you to everyone who hits the like, the share, the subscribe. Make sure you're following me on the Gematria Effect news channels and the Gematria Effect sports channels. Um, right now, the most active news channels, Gematria Effect News 24. That's where we did the Buffalo work at. 25 is suspended right now. So, anyhow. Yeah, Young Dolph. That's who it was. My, my fault. Young, Dol Young Dolph was another big 201 ritual. So... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we're gonna have to do that basketball match. I'm gonna show you. I'm nice with both hands. I got the left and the right hand. So let's go. Anyway, anyway, we'll leave it there. You know, please do help get out the word. Please stop supporting these sports leagues. Please use freetofindtruth.com. Unite, organize, network with the people who are awake in your community. I, I would love to hear that this football season's the football season. The Gematria crew you know, gathered up and got in front of the stadiums and woke up the fans game day after game day, you know? First day of the Vikings and Cardinals season, you got another one to talk about, the latest death connected to those teams. The, the day that starts happening, people start gathering by the dozens outside the stadium to wake people up to how evil and rigged these leagues are, that's the day we're going to start to have an impact. All right, true seeker. Till next time.